Hello, I'm Thad Tegmeyer from Sweetwater, and today I am reading Jackie Robinson and the Big Game. It's written by Dan Gutman and illustrated by Elaine Garvin. Now, Jackie Robinson is one of my favorite athletes of all time and certainly a key American citizen, and you'll find out, hopefully, some more information from this book. Plick plock, the little white balls zip back and forth. Now this is a scene from the Pasadena Youth Table Tennis Tournament where there's a $10 grand prize. I bet I could win, nine-year-old Jackie Robinson told his friends. Jackie, you never played ping pong in your life. How hard could it be, Jackie asked. Jackie watched carefully and learned very fast. He beat everyone in the contest. Looks to be a very determined young man. By the end of the morning, he had become the best ping pong player in Pasadena, California. Jackie ran home for lunch. He gave the money he won to his mother. $10 is quite a bit of money back then. Jackie's brothers and sisters admired his trophy. Nice, his brother Max said, but you can't run as fast as me. Sounds like a challenge from an older brother. Jackie could never turn down a dare, but Mac was 14. He was bigger and stronger. He beat Jackie easily every time. So you think he might quit, right? I don't think so. After lunch, the kids on Pepper Street played Chase the Fox. They would link arms and try to prevent the kid in the middle from running away. Mac was the fastest fox. Nobody could catch him. Let's see who can jump the farthest, Mac said, as he and Jackie walked home. Let's see who can hit the tree with a rock. No matter what game they played, Mac always won. Any of you have an older brother or sister that's always beating you in games? Jackie didn't like to lose. He ran home, stomped upstairs, slammed his bedroom door, and ripped Mac's shoes. Probably not a good thing to do. Jackie's mother was angry when she saw the shoes, but she knew how much her youngest son hated to lose. One day you will be as big as Max, she told Jackie. You will be better than him at something, but Jackie didn't think he would ever beat Mac at anything. Hey Jackie, want to play? Mac and his friends were playing baseball in the park. No thanks, Jackie said. I don't know how to play baseball. Come on, one of the boys yelled. Grab a bat. I think something big's about to happen. Jackie stepped up to the plate. Mac threw him a pitch. Jackie smashed the ball right back at Mac. At first base, Jackie watched his brother carefully. When Mac threw the next pitch, Jackie ran. He slid into second base in a cloud of dust. Safe! On the next pitch, Jackie stole third base. Don't even think about stealing home on me, Mac yelled to his brother. Oh, I'm thinking about it, Jackie yelled back. As soon as Mac got ready to pitch, Jackie took off from third base. It was a race to the plate. The catcher caught the ball. Jackie slid in hard. He knocked the ball out of the catcher's mitt, safe again. I'd say he got one up on his brother. Soon it was too dark to play anymore. 
You're pretty good at baseball, Jackie. Max said as they walked home. I thought you said you didn't know how to play. How hard could it be, Jackie asked. That was a really good story. So here's a little timeline on Jackie Robinson. When he grew up, Jackie Robinson became the first African-American in 60 years to play Major League Baseball. Mac Robinson, his brother, remember, won two Olympic medals. The friendly competition they had as children helped make both brothers into stars. So here's a little timeline of Mac and Jackie's life. 1914, Mac Robinson was born in Cairo, Georgia. In 1919, Jackie Roosevelt Robinson was born on January 31st in Cairo, Georgia. In 1936, Mack wins two medals in track and field in the Olympics in Berlin, Germany. He finishes second in the 200-meter sprint behind Jesse Owens, who is one of the greatest track athletes of all time. In 1939, Jackie is a football, baseball, and track star at UCLA. Phenomenal athlete. In 1941, the United States enters World War II. Jackie enlists in the U.S. Army, so he went and fought for his country. In 1947, Jackie plays his first baseball game for the Brooklyn Dodgers. They win the National League pennant. Jackie is named Rookie of the Year. Now remember, he's the first African-American uh, to play in the major leagues. In 1949, Jackie wins the Most Valuable Player Award. The Dodgers win the pennant. In 1955, the Dodgers win the pennant again and go on to win their first and only World Series. And in 1956, the Dodgers win the pennant for the sixth time in Jackie's career. He retires from baseball and begins a career as a businessman and civil rights activist. In 1962, Jackie is inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame. And in 1972, he passed away on October 24th. It's a fantastic story about a great American hero.